anytime we're on the ground and not moving, we want the power at 1,000 RPM. Right. Okay. Before takeoff, brakes aside, all tanks are good. Taxi from SAA to 227 right with Quebec. Skyhawk 701 Sierra Papa, the last ground runway 27 right, taxi via Alpha 2, Bravo Delta, cross runway 35. Good. Answer Alpha checks. 2, Bravo Delta, cross runway 35, 701 Sierra Papa. was 3001. Quebec at Alpha Delta, request taxi to CFA. Tesla 2160 Quebec, let's ground taxi CFA via Delta. That's good. CFA taxi via Delta, 2160 Quebec. We're not using VORs. Let me set this. Just be ground, Tesla 61959 at Delta 3, request taxi runway 27 left. Tesla 61959, let's ground, hold position. Hold position, 959. And that's showing zero. Good. Uh. Banner truck, Gillespie Ground, proceed to Sky Harbor via Charlie. Via Charlie Banner truck. Ground, uh, Great Lakes Precinct, Air Force X-ray, we are at Skid Row, we're in Quebec, we'd like to see 27 right for right down with departure. Tower is 61959, Gillespie Ground, runway 27 left, taxi via Delta, cross runway 35. 12.7, I've got to remember these. You will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so radio sets, we're good. Um, seat belts. Good, belts and harnesses, mixture, full rich, primer is locked, throttle is 2000, keep my feet on the brakes. Engines, all in the green. Magneto drop, there's the RPM drop. And we're gonna turn it to the left. There's a drop again. Good. Carb heat. There's the RPM drop there. Vacuum is good. Oil temperature in the green. Oil pressure in the green. Ammeter is good. Throttle back down to a thousand. 62, frequency change. Enter to 62, frequency change for your debit good flight. Thanks, 62. That's good. Carve heat is back off. Announciator. Cessna 6, we maintain no contact. So cut a barger 1, 2, 5, 1, 3. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps close the door you'll get. Electric fuel pump is on. Check for the fuel pressure, and it is in the green. Engine gauges verify. All good. Tower one three six Hotel Bob Lake right, Murray. Uh, for a second. Uh, Lake Murray Cal should I do the briefing? Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, when we take off, if we have any issue with the engine, engine one, power two, failure three, or whatever, we still have available runway. Uh, or before we even take off, we can. If there's anything going on during roll, um, we can just not take off, stay on the ground. If anything happens while we take off, but there's still available runway, we're going to use the same runway. We're going to come back down as soon as we can. Um, if during takeoff and we're already past the runway, if anything goes wrong, we're just going to fly the airplane, go straight, and potentially use the, uh, is it the 125 or the 55? Uh, I think that's the 50. 52 is out to 52, the right. excuse me. Yeah. Okay. So we'll use the, we can use the, the highway there, or we can come back around and use uh, uh, potentially uh, runway 17. Yep. Um, if we're over the practice area, we'll, we'll go through the emergency procedures there, but we'll use uh, any field that we see there, or if we can, we can try to come back um, and land here, potentially. Okay. Um, that's it, right? Yep, that sounds good. Okay, uh, so pilot leaves from premium. Lights is required. We don't need any lights. We're good to good. We are good to go. I'm going to contact tower. Hold short around my T7 left. Hold short, T7 left, under another effective A. System 6 Zulu Compa, right down when approved, from my T7 right. And we're going to do a right down when departure, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. And before you call me, I want to release the parking brake. Right. Okay. Gillespie Tower, Cherokee 9008 to uniform, ready for departure for right when departure. Uh, with information, uh, Quebec. Checking 9 0 AT uniform, Gillespie Tower, hold short around my 27 right. Hold short 27 right, AT uniform. 
You don't need to tell them that we have information, Quebec. No? Just for the initial call to the, the airport. Okay. Check 18, inform the Cessna up when is a downwind departure. Wind 2607, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. 27 right, clear for takeoff. 18 inform. 18 inform. Cross runway 27 left, contact ground. Cross 27 left, contact ground, that's 95 for takeoff. All right, we're clear right. Looks good. And make sure only your toes are on the rudder pedals. Okay. No toes on the brakes for takeoff. For takeoff, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, full power, a little bit of right rudder. <clears throat> All right, engines, uh, we got airspeed alive in the green. And then is our rotate speed. Just your right hand, or your left hand on the controls. Right. And when you're climbing, always make sure you can see terrain. Okay. Make sure we can see that mountain that we're pointing towards. Okay. And we're going to look for That's 79. Yep. For Calvary, 641 for Quebec, a little down, or the Cherokee up one as a downwind departure. Wind 2807 from a 27 right, cliff to go. We're drifting a little Out south, so turn a little right. to the right. To okay. right. Six, four, one, four, Quebec. That's good right there. All right, well, I'm going to turn crosswind. Yep. Make sure we're going parallel. Okay, should be good. Um, what was the, I'm not gonna switch yet because we're still gonna monitor the tower, but what was the uh, frequency for communication, air to air communication? 122.75. 122.75. Charlie Angle left tower right down approved. Runway 27 right, clip take off. Runway take off 27 right, 3A Charlie. Helicopter 623 Delta, or Papa Delta Angle left tower. Sir, 3 Papa Delta. You said we're going to climb to 6,000, right? Yep. Uh, 1,500, going to be crossing through your airspace. Sounds good. To the north. Helicopter 3 Papa Delta, contact tower 123.8. I'll let them know you're coming. 123.8, 3 Papa Delta. And that's Lake Jennings, right? Yep. Okay, so around Lake Jennings, that's when we should kind of switch, right? Correct. Okay. Well, we could do something on our way over there. Sure. What could we do? <laughs> Fuel pumps. Yep. Um, and landing light. And landing light. But we don't need it, right? Oh. You, you want to use it for takeoff and landings. Okay. So. Well, we can leave it off. Leave it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, should I verify with the checklist? Is that's just kind of a flow checklist. Okay. So, that's it, that's it, right? Yep. Yeah. Got to get in the habit of remembering this checklist. Gotta I know. Get... And this plane likes a lean mixture, so let's lean the mixture right here. Sure. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
And normally, every 1,000 feet, you know, you'd kind of lean the mixture a little bit, right? Sounds about good. Every 1,000, couple thousand. Start leaning it at 3,000 in other airplanes. Okay. And yeah, I'd probably readjust it when I get to my cruising altitude. Quest to tower, okay. Great Lakes 3604, X ray holding short, 27 right for right downwind departure. Great Lakes 3604, X ray, Galos to tower, right downwind approved, runway 27 right, click to take off. Alright, I'm going to switch over. For two seven right, 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 right. A little bumpy. At least it's not as bad as it was last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty wild. That was a bumpy ass day. Yeah. Oh. He's driving away Cherokee over Lake Jennings, 3,100, climbing eastbound. Usually, like, up until now, like, you or Matt kind of handle that communication. Yeah, once... Sh it'll stay that way, or at some point, should I start... I mean, yeah, I once your communication gets really good and you're uh, closer and closer to solo, then you're going to be doing all the radio calls. Okay. Including the practice area. But, yeah, when you're talking to practice area, you just want to say which practice area you're in. So this is San Diego East. And you'd say East practice area, White Cherokee, where you are. Lake Jennings, altitude. San Diego Northeast, Blue Water Archer 3000, leaving your own dirt strip, heading uh, to the uh, Miramar transition, the back to And then what call. your intentions are. San Diego Northeast. Okay. Flying eastbound, climbing eastbound, uh, climbing northbound. Okay. That's the reservoir down there, right? Yep. I want to make sure I'm very familiar with this area. Yeah, go ahead and pull out your chart. So show me where you are, where we are on this chart. Uh, so we just passed... No, that's not it. Where is Lake Jennings? So we are probably right about here somewhere, right? Well, we're still west of that reservoir, so we're slightly west of the reservoir. Okay. Of, of El Cap? Yeah. So around here. Well, is that east or west of the reservoir? Oh, where, that's where your finger just was. That is east. Yep. So we're west. Yeah, we're south and west of the reservoir. So right around here, yeah. I guess. That's yeah, that makes, right. that makes sense. We just passed Lake Jennings a few couple miles ago. Right. Okay. This town right up here in front of us, this is Alpine, so we're just about over Alpine. Okay. 4,500 descending inbound for Gillespie last call. Can you leave? Okay. Crust is back there, right? Yeah. Okay. San Diego Northeast, practice area, white, green, 7152 over Bonville, 3,500 seat turn, San Diego Northeast. San Diego Coastal System, 7510, Papa, 1400 feet northbound along the coast, uh, beam, Del Mar. And traffic of beam, Del Mar, tail, let's see it again. 1400 feet, we have in sight if you're turning northbound. Yeah, it says we're at 15 turn northbound, yeah, and we're looking to get. So I'm going to go over it in my head, the, the procedures. Yeah, right. we can start thinking about it right now, so yeah. the first three things. So it's fuel pump, mixture, and... What am I missing? It's also in that location. Oh, the car right? Yep. Carpeat. Uh, Delta and Delta then we're going to do uh, glide speed, uh, yep. uh, which is 73. Uh, and then we're going to pick a location. Yep. Um, and then we are going to communicate, right? See? Did I miss uh, something? Yeah, the communicates. 
It's the last thing, right? Yeah, one of the last things you want to do. We're going to restart the engine, and then, so we're, if that doesn't work, then we're going to do the uh, the engine shut off, I guess, right? So yeah. uh, we'll turn the fuel pumps on. We'll turn a uh, uh, fuel tank to off. Um, well, we want to restart the engine first, so pull out that checklist next to you, the, sure. the laminated one. We're following the engine power loss and flight checklist. Right. So I should, I should go over this first after I do all that, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll do all that, then we'll do um, the glide speed, and then I should check this. Yep. Okay. Just make sure you didn't skip anything. And it'll, I think it'll add a couple more things. So like uh, primer, make sure that that's in unlocked. Magneto's cycle. Magneto East, uh, okay. West Texas, 4,500. Okay. We're over Palomar, uh, headed to Ocean And then we have to Magneto eventually East. do this, right? Yep. Okay. So if that doesn't work, then we're following the power off landing checklist. Okay. All right. Um, and then 7,700 on the uh, transponder. Yep. 1 to 1.5 emergency. Um, okay. Let's turn left heading 030. 030. Now in a simulated uh, emergency, White Cherokee 3 is early approaching. Do we have to do uh, clearing turns? Gonna be the maneuver. No. Okay. Not for that maneuver. Okay. Yeah, I keep hearing, you know, I'm always on YouTube watching videos and stuff like that. I keep hearing that, like, a lot of times people kind of fail their check right because they don't do the, uh, the, you know, the clearing turns. Yep. So I'm always kind of paranoid. I'll make sure I don't forget that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Before any maneuver except the emergency. Okay. Let's climb up to 6,500. 6,500. Now pull out that chart and let's see where we are now. Sure. Um, so, we just passed Alpine. We turned a little northeast. Yeah. We can see where we are in relationship from the dam or the El Cap Reservoir. Uh, about here, right? Or am I turned around again? You see this mountain right below us? Yes. This is Viejas Mountain, which is kind of hard to see, but it's right there. Okay. So we're like right there. Okay. I'd say we're probably three miles east of El Cap Reservoir. Okay. That's something I got to learn too, is to kind of gauge a little bit of distance from, from up here. Yeah. I would call that between two and four miles. Two and four miles. Three okay. miles, probably about three. Okay. Um, Do you have a, 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 a trick or something to kind of gauge? or is You it just, just get used of, to it. Yeah, you get used you'll, to it. You'll figure it out. I'm just going to turn back to three, uh, zero, three, zero. Okay. That mountain is Cuyamaca Peak. That's the biggest mountain east of, in San Diego County. Okay. Uh, that's probably seven miles away, six miles away. Actually, I can check it on my iPad with four flight. We are over, and yeah, we'll just call it over Viejas Mountain. Cuyamaca Peak from Viejas Mountain. Eight miles. Eight miles. Yep. That's seven, eight miles away. Uh, what's the uh, the AGL of that mountain? I think it's six thousand seven hundred. Six thousand seven hundred. San Diego Coastal, uh, Cherokee, 8401. Right. We are at 6,500. Uh, offshore Torrey Pines. Just going to level out. Well, let's do a couple steep turns while we're up here. Sure. Uh, let me hey, the configure the plane. That's another thing about we are another thing the about the check ride is uh, don't ever feel like rushed from the examiner. Okay. They might do that to you. Say, okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do that. Well, you're the one that's flying. 
you determine when you want to start the maneuver. Okay. Um, so we're about 2400 RPM, 90s, kind of what we're aiming for for the airspeed. Yep. Um, should I do clearing turns? Yeah, let's do clearing So turn. I'm going to turn left 90 degrees first. And this area down here, you see this valley? Yes. This is called the Viejas Valley. Okay. Say again, altitude. of El Capitan, one mile at 4,500. Okay, we're at 4,300, we're north of the right. Capitan, so I'll send you a river. I'll look for you now. That is 90. I'm going to turn back to the right. White and green, Cessna 152, 2,000 over Bonfo, ground reference, standing northeast. Dropping a little altitude. Okay, we're at 7 Delta Delta 2000, Encinitas, uh, southbound Montgomery, San Diego Coastal. Okay. Um, we're not too close to this mountain, right? No, we're, okay, we're so we're a good distance away. All right, so I am heading, I'm just going to turn 030 exactly. We're at 6,500 feet. Uh, I would make it a little bit easier on yourself and do it visually. Point towards that mountain. Okay. The biggest mountain, the one that looks like this. Yeah, right there. Yep. Okay. That way you know what you're rolling out, pointing towards. That makes sense. And we're going to roll out a couple degrees before. I gotta remember About that. 20 degrees before, yeah. Okay. And you can, now we can see what our heading is, 050-ish. Yeah. Maybe 055. Okay. All right. So I am going to turn. Let's do one to the left. One to the left. Here we go. So we're going to turn about 35, and we're going to pull back. Yep. And we're going to hold the nose right around there. Okay, San Diego traffic, this is really 364 X-ray. We're losing a little bit of too much altitude. We're going to be practicing the aerobatic maneuvers between 6 and 4. Just add more back pressure. See that altitude getting a little low? Yeah. Add more back pressure. Get that altitude back. Still 4 X-ray, any traffic in the area? And East Traffic, White Cherokee, about a mile north of Viejas Valley at 6,500. We're about three miles west of Queen Peak at 6,500. Okay, I lost a little uh, too much altitude. We'll come back here. We'll be over the San Diego River Valley here. Um, and we'll be below 6,000. So if you stay up there, we'll stay down here. No problem. Sounds good. Well, you have an open cockpit. Uh, are you staying at 6,500? Is this for Great Lakes? The aircraft right by Vez Valley. Yeah, uh, we're at 6,500. We're about three miles west of Cuyamaca Peak. Are you going to stay at that altitude? Yeah, for now. We good? Yep. I just want to make sure. Okay. I'm not um, sure if they're open cockpit. I think they're Cherokee. So if you're calling an open cockpit biplane, we're currently at 5,500. So I'm not sure who you're talking to. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so right turn. Yeah, let's do one to the right. Okay. Uh, so zero, 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 five, zero. Zero, Papa, 3,800 over Lake Jenny. A little bit of right rudder for this one. 500 toward the Haas Valley. San Diego East. San Diego Coastal, 7 Delta, Delta, White Cessna, a beam of the racetrack headed to Montgomery, final call, 2,000 feet, San Diego Coastal. Not really 45. San Diego though. Coastal, Cirrus 1290. Charlie, yeah. two miles off the coast of Encinitas. Just keep that back pressure in there. Keep that altitude. 3,000 southbound. Uh, and that is a white Cirrus, San Diego Coastal. All right. All right, nice. Not too bad. So I want to show you something. Sure. I got the controls. Your controls. Uh, is that 2,300 RPM? Kick it up just a little bit. Sure. So make sure that we're in a straight and level flight, trimmed out for straight and level flight, which I think you had it. I'm going to try and do this one with hands off, see if it works in this plane. I can do it in the Cessnas, but I haven't tried it in this plane before. Okay. So I'm going to add 100 RPM and two trims up on the nose wheel. So we'll go to the left, add 100 RPM. There's 100. One, two. Two trims on the nose wheel. Heading northeast practice area, green and white Cessna 152, two miles to the north of Vista, 2,500. Keep it at 45 degrees. I'm kind of cheating using rudder to keep that bank angle the same. But you can see the altitude is staying about 
6,500. Yeah. Without having to add any back pressure. Yeah. Uh, at 3,700. Yeah. Uh, going to. I'm not coordinated, but because I'm like again Danny, cheating to you, just to using the rudder. I just wanted to show you if you if you want to use trim, and then to it'll release a lot of the back pressure that you have to add for this maneuver. Okay. So coming out of that, dropped 100 feet, but you're allowed plus or minus 100 feet, so that would have been acceptable on the check rack. <laughs> okay. Five thousand five hundred. We'll turn over this way. Sure. So you can do that. I mean, right, I just. Uh, 7015, uh, 4, We're going to stay at this altitude and do some maneuvers. So anybody's going to come down, let us know. 4,500. Where are you? I'm sorry. Trying to figure out where this guy is. He's kind of sounds wacky. Yeah. <laughs> All right. San Diego East traffic, white and red biplane is a mile north of El Cap Reservoir, aerobatics below 6,000. San Diego East traffic. A couple miles north of El Cap? Yep, so he's over there. Staying below 6,000. San Diego Coast Tower, Sky Fox 2, Romeo Whiskey, 1100. Okay, you have the controls? My controls? Your controls. San Diego Coast Tower. Let's, uh, I want you to just try that and see which way you like better. Sure. So the way to trim that is start at the very top right here. One, two. Very, very top to very bottom, twice. Now should I do that before I start the roll? or? So you're going to start the roll at 100 RPM. One, two. Okay. All right, so let's get out and do a left turn. Yep. At 100 RPM. One, two. One, top to bottom, one, two. two. And I'll feel how much okay, back well, pressure you need to add, if any. Not a lot at all. How does that feel? Uh, it's better. You honestly. like it? Yeah. I've seen people do it, and I remember asking, I'm losing, wait, let me let it drop a little. Yeah, so just yeah. add a little forward pressure. Yeah. Get that altitude back. Yeah, this feels a lot easier. South end of El Cap. Maneuvering at 4,500 for the next five minutes. San Diego East. Okay. Now we can roll back out here. Now as you're rolling out, you got all that nose up trim. Right. Yeah, that's a little easier, honestly. And then bring the, don't forget the power, bring the power back. Right. Okay, you started at 6,500, finished right on the mark. San Diego awesome. Coastal, Sirius 1900, Charlie, we are... Okay. Yeah, that uh, definitely helps. miles okay. off the coast of Encinitas, 3,000 northbound. Yeah, I've seen some people Coastal. on YouTube do it like that, but I was so, I guess, comfortable, well, for the limited experience I have doing that, I was worried that if I'd switch over or something, maybe I'd lose a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could totally do that. I think it's easier personally. It is. Yeah. But you do whatever works for you. I just wanted to make sure that yeah, cause everyone you can, knows that. You can kind of control the, the altitude a little bit with, with the banking. You know, if I'm, if I'm, like, losing too much, if I just bank a little bit more, you know, level, I kind of... Don't lose so much altitude. Yeah. Uh, is okay. Miguel, and, uh, Lake at 3, feet, Daniel, East Town. Okay. East Town for Barrett Lake at 3,000 feet, Tenio East Town. Trying to find out where this person was who said they were somewhere in this area, like 4,500. San Diego Coastal, uh, White Sky Fox 2, Romeo Whiskey, uh, Offshore Del Mar. Uh, 1,300 feet over the golf course, practicing ground reference maneuvers, San Diego Coastal. You see any airplanes around here? Negative. Oh, yes, I do. He's right down there, pretty low. I'm going to turn a little this way. Okay. Yeah, he's turning, actually. He's right below over this field. Okay. Go ahead and turn to the left. I want to see where he is. See him right there? Okay, yeah, he's way, way down there. Yeah, it's really low. Okay, you can level the wings here. Sure. And let's San Diego East, White Cherokee, 3 H Charlie going to be south of the Alpine Power Station, 4,000 maneuvering. South of Alpine Power Station. All right, you just lost your engine. All right, so um, these three things right away. Fuel pump, full mixture, carb heat on. We can uh, trim a little bit to yep. get that 73. So let me lift the nose up so we don't lose altitude. Right about there. He's driving White Cherokee directly over Vihas Casino, 6,200 simulated engine failure, 
gliding towards Alpine Dirt Patch. Okay, so uh, we're going to find a landing spot. Um, I want you to land there. You're land right there. All right, so we're going to aim right there. But we're going to keep it at 73. All right, we got airspeed, best place to land. Now let's pull out that checklist. Checklist, yes, sir. San Diego East, uh, blue and white Cessna Skyhawk. Climbing through 3,500 south end of uh, El Cap Reservoir. We're going to be heading so north of the reservoir. Airspeed, airspeed 73. Airspeed determined land sighting, go, fuel selector, um, we're going to simulate that. Simulate changing it. So when you do all these things, just make sure you touch whatever item it is. Okay. So to get in that muscle memory in case we actually do lose our engine. Okay. Um, the primer is locked and ignition switch, so we're going to simulate yeah, that. Yeah, try starting it. So yep. we'll try to start it. If it doesn't start... Um, Let's say, okay, yeah, that did not work. So now... We're going to the second checklist, which is the power off landing. Power off landing. So I'm just going to turn a little bit this way so we can get, um, don't know the wind, but I know, I think it's coming from that way, just judging by the water. Yeah, usually coming out of the west. Okay, so I'm going to actually turn around to the right. I would circle over your spot. You got plenty of altitude. If okay. you turn around, you're going to lose your spot. Okay. So head directly to your spot and just circle over it. Sounds good. All right, um, so uh, we're gonna move here. Um, oh, we're gonna also gonna put 7700, 1 to 1.5, uh, declare an emergency. Yep. Uh, and then we're gonna go through this uh, checklist here. So mixture, we're gonna cut. Fuel selector to off, ignition to off, uh, master switch off. Um, and we got our seat belts. And that is the checklist complete. Okay. So we're just going to, we could so we circle. Yeah, we want to be landing that way. So we want to make a downwind around this field. north of El Capitan Reservoir. Okay. 5,000. We're doing aerobatics between 4,000 and 6,000. Then you go each other. So. San Diego's White Cherokee over the Alpine Dirt Patch. 4,400 simulated engine out descending down to 3,000. All right. So you want to pick probably the longest portion of that field also. Yeah, it's that. I'm going to I think, or we can go like that too, but the wind would probably be best going that way. Yeah. Yeah, just land facing the ocean. Keep it right at 73 knots. Yeah, don't want to waste our altitude. Do we have enough altitude to make this turn? Oh, yeah. yeah. To, uh, climbing through 4,300. We're going to stay on the uh, east side of El Capitan Reservoir, heading north, San Diego East. Uh, they make that the west side of El Cap. San Diego is by just now over south end of El Cap at 5,500, heading north, San Diego East. All right, so this is a basically going to be our downwind entry right here. Right. San Diego Coastal, White Sky Cox 2 Romeo Whiskey. I'd level the wings for the downwind. Don't want to be too terribly close to it and have to do like a 45 degree bank in order to make that. Now we're just looking at, looking at our field. I mean, we want to make sure that we're going to make our field. Yeah. That we're not going to be too low. And I know, I know there's a I see can I can see kind of like boulders and rocks there. So yeah. look behind kinda, us. Yeah, I yeah, can kind of make up an area there. You could probably do your turn here, and then I would add full flaps on this turn. You got your engine back. I don't like getting too low over Alpine because these people complain a lot. Sure. Let's climb up to four thousand. Climb to four thousand. Yeah, so you can look back. I mean, I think you could have easily added flaps and landed in that field. Lake and when you're climbing away, make sure you clean up the airplane, so carb heat off. Carb heat off, fuel pump off, and should I lean it or not yet, right? Yeah, let's lean it yeah. a little bit. So Diego is uh, white touches over Lake Jennings at uh, 4,200, climbing 7,500. So Diego is. Oh yeah, so we had plenty of altitude there. We, could, we were able to pull out our checklist and go through everything. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Let's pick up the airport information at Gillespie and uh, do a couple touch and goes. Sounds good. Actually, we'll have to do a full stop. Full stop? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 125.45. 125. 45. Gillespie Tower information, KBAT. 2050 Sulu. 
Wind two three zero at five. Visibility still one still zero. Same. Sky same clear. Thing, so we don't have to listen. Temperature two. Two. Five thousand. Climbing five thousand. Tower frequencies are split. I want to land on two seven left. Right. So it's one two three point eight degrees. Anyways, White Dutch, Sierra Valley, 5,500 maneuvering. Anyways, right, we got plenty of altitude here. Let's just level off. Anyways, White Cessna over Ramona Dirt Strip at 4,500. And I don't like getting Anyways. any closer than this before contacting tower. So let's do a 180 as we're switching frequencies, thinking about what we're going to save for our landing. Okay. Um, so uh, we are two miles uh, west of uh, El Cap Reservoir. What, what town is this? Alpine? Yep, we're over Alpine. Oh, so we're over Alpine. That makes sense, and it's on, it's a, ch what's it called, a check mark? Yep. Kinda, um, so I'll turn around. So we are over Alpine, inbound for a full stop with information, Quebec. Yep. Um, and we're going to do 27 left. But we don't need to tell them because they know because of the frequency. Exactly, yep. Oh, okay. So you can switch that frequency. Okay, one, two, three, point eight. And on our turn back inbound, or kind of basically once we're heading this direction, you can call them up. Okay. I'll call them up right now. Gillespie, Cher uh, Gillespie Tower, Cherokee 90A2 uniform over Alpine inbound for full stop with information Quebec. Second down is there 18 uniform, just with our ident straight in, running 27 left. 27 left, ident, 18 uniform. Oh, we can point towards that mountain, that's going to get us on a, a pretty good uh, square base for our turn to final for 27 left. Okay. The uh Rattlesnake, right? Is that what it's called? The mountain just to the right? Yeah. Yeah. It always throws me off a little bit because when you come from Alpine, you can't see the airfield. Exactly. So yep. I kind of like lose a little bit of track of it until it suddenly pops up yep. at, behind the mountain. So a, a good way to make sure that you're going to make, you're going to see that airport, just point towards San Miguel Mountain. San Miguel Mountain. As long as you're pointing towards San Miguel Mountain, you're going to see that airport off your right side. Okay. Um, and uh, should I go ahead and do the checklist now? It's a good yeah. time. Okay, yeah, so uh, of time. fuel pumps and landing lights. Um, that's really it. A mixture. Yeah, let's go full mixture. Full mixture. Um, and then I'll just verify it. Or is, is that kind of a flow thing too? No, yeah, you can verify. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, approach and landing. Seat belts. Good. Balance mixture set full. Fuel pump on. And the fuel tank is good. So checklist complete. Good. I can I'll go a little bit more and then I'll start turning. Yeah, just don't overshoot the runway. Yeah. Probably turn now, actually. Cherokee 3 Charlie, we're 27 left, quick touch and go, make left coast traffic. Quick touch and go, 27 left, left traffic, 3 Charlie. This one's really faint, isn't it? Yeah. This far out, you can use a crab. You can just Cherokee eight uniform number two. Follow Cherokee ahead two mile final. Runner two seven left. Clear to land. Two seven left. Clear to land. Eight two uniform. Cherokee three Charlie traffic off your right for the parallel. All right, looking up the traffic three Charlie. I got him in sight. System one zero Papa left crossing approved. 
Cross and approve 341 here, Papa. Don't want to get into the way of 27 right. So Correct, yeah. Stay a little here. Now, when I'm coming straight into a final, when's a good time to, to put like a first set of flaps in? I usually do it about two miles out. So we'll figure out what two miles out looks like. Maybe a little bit after this, the eight, all right? Yeah, usually like in between the eight freeway and uh, the two little hills on the left with the houses on them. Yeah. Those are Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Somewhere before Twin Peaks Okay, is when I start slowing down really. Now, I know around 1,200 around Rattlesnake and the Twin Peaks is kind of good, right? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Your altitude looks really good here. Yeah. So this descent's working really well. That's another reason I don't like adding flaps until I get closer, because right now you got a really good descent. Airspeed looks fine. Altitude looks great. Yeah. So why mess with it? Sure. And another reason is I like to go fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as possible. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you got speed and altitude in case something does go wrong, you can... So one yeah, Sierra exactly. Number yeah. three, follow Cherokee two mile final. So this is left. what two Three's miles looks like. Okay. Two seven yeah, let's bring the power back a little bit. We can start adding those flaps. Sure. Make sure we're in the flap operating range on the airspeed indicator, and we are. We are. And it is 103. Three, uniform traffic off your right to set now right base for the parallel. VFE. Traffic inside A2 uniform. I'm going to aim a little bit before the numbers there. This usually works. Keep the nose pointing down. Sure, I get a little bit of right rudder in there because I can feel the wind. Yep. And I can probably go ahead and put one more set of flaps in. Yeah, I'd go full flaps. Full flaps? Yep. Always want to land with full flaps. And a little too high, but this plane will come down no problem. Yeah. <laughs> a little too high. Watch the airspeed. Keep the nose down. So we can take a look at the wind sock. It actually looks like the winds are maybe coming out from the right now. At least one of them is kind of pointing from the right. Yeah, I see. You can figure out exactly what the winds are by saying, wind check. Wind 270 niner. 270 niner. 270 niner. So that, at that immediate time, the winds were right down the center line. Not a, not a whole lot of crosswind correction needed. Yeah. But we do need to keep that nose pointing straight down the center line. Yes, sir. Bring that power to idle. Don't let it strip to the left. A uh, little off center. Yeah, could have been better. It would have been great if you were right on that center yeah. line. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'm not going to make it off here. Yeah, let's turn on alpha. Okay. And just follow that yellow line. You can release the brakes. So we're not getting off the room too slow. Eight uniform, turn left at Alpha, contact ground. Turn left at Alpha, contact ground, eight uniform. Ooh, a little too fast. Oh, now you can start applying brakes, keep the power at idle. Stop just on the other side of these hold bars, so. Yes. Clear? Yep. Yeah, I'm clear. Okay. Um, and power to a thousand. Thousand and a checklist real quick. Before we do the checklist, we want to switch to ground. Switch to ground, okay. And make sure that the power is at a thousand. Seven. And now we'll do the after landing checklist. Okay. Gillespie Ground, Light Sport, 5 1 Golf X ray, request taxi, uh, Delta to West Transient. Off, landing light. Off. Electric fuel pump. Off. Check number five complete. One. Golf X ray, Gillespie Ground, taxi to West Transient via Delta. We are at Alpha, right? Uh, taxi via Delta. Uh, Alpha, West Transient, Alpha five Delta gives us an exact location. Okay. Gillespie Ground, Cherokee 9008 to uniform at Alpha Delta to Golden State. Number 
9082 uniform, Gillespie ground, taxi to Goldman State via Delta, cross runway 35. Via Delta, cross 35, AT uniform. Uh, Be ground, Cherokee so 878 Echo, El Cajon with Quebec, taxi to 27 right. Cherokee 82 uniform, correction, just taxi straight ahead via Alpha Alpha 1, cross runway 35. Alpha Alpha 1, AT uniform. Cross 35. Cross 35. Turkey 80 Echo, Gillespie Ground, 27 right, taxi via Alpha 2, Bravo Delta, cross runway 35. 27 right, Alpha 2, Bravo Delta, cross runway 35, Turkey 8788 Echo. We could have crossed here though, right? Or So he said taxi to Golden State via Delta, cross 35. Delta only goes parallel to 27 right and 27 left. So that was an impossible taxi instruction. He probably meant Bravo, uh, Delta uh, Bravo, but he yeah. forgot to say it. Right. I, I interpreted it as that, you know, because, yeah, which is not good, but <laughs> yep. I know what you mean. A little too fast. And you can see that flag right there. The winds are coming out of the west. How do you position the flight controls for that? Uh, I will turn the ailerons to the left, right? November 6, Zulu Papa, to the right. The left to the right. Ground, taxi to American west. via Alpha. Via Alpha, oh my God, 6 Zulu Papa. Makes sense, right. the ocean's that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if it's just a direct crosswind, you want to do aileron into the wind. That way it's keeping this wing down. Because if we were up in the air, and we did this, the wing would plane would turn to the right. Right. So what's that what that's doing is putting more weight on that right wing to keep it from lifting up if it's a really strong crosswind. Yeah, and I, I saw in the the POH I, I don't remember the exact the wind speed, but I think uh eighteen Knots is, pro is the highest this plane can handle while yeah, landing, apparently. Romeo, current wind 27010, altimeter 2900. Uh, 17-knot maximum demonstrated crosswind. 17? Yep. 17. I knew it was somewhere around there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and when we landed last week, I think it was pretty close to there. I think it was like 12 knots or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to practice in crosswinds. Yeah. It's the only way to get good. Man, I wish I hit that center line right now. That would have been nice. <laughs> I know, that was a really smooth landing. <laughs> yeah. Just put it down that center line and then it's perfect. Yeah. You, know, you can add a little power, go a little quicker. You going up uh, again after this? Yep, one more flight. Nice. I'm not sure if it's in this airplane, though. Okay. I've got a long paper to finish up tonight. A long what? Paper. Oh, really? Yeah. Probably a lot of papers you have to write in that degree, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. A lot of statistics, a lot of interpreting statistics. Uh -huh. of Delta, and uh, we're on Alpha, and we'd like to go to Skid Row. Great Lake 6304 X-ray, Gillespie Ground, taxi to Skid Row via Delta Bravo. Cross, correction, uh, taxi to Skid Row via Alpha. Alpha 2. What's Skid Row? Alpha, Alpha 2, 